Welcome back to Longevity Now, Longevity Now FL. Uh, I'm Luigi Fontana, the scientific director of the Charles Perkins Center RPA Clinic of the University of Sydney. In today's video, we will discuss the latest recommendation for breast cancer screening from the US Preventive uh, Service Task Force just published on JAMA. As you know, breast cancer ranks as the second most common cancer and the second leading cause of cancer-related deaths. In, uh, and in 2023, approximately 43,170 women died from breast cancer in the U.S. alone. Yes, 43,170 women died of breast cancer in U.S. alone. Non-Hispanic white women exhibit the highest breast cancer incidence rate with five-year age-adjusted incidence rates at 136 cases per 100,000 women, followed by non-Hispanic black women at 128 cases for 100,000 women. The problem is that, alarmingly, incidence rates have seen a gradual increase among women aged 40 to 49 from 2000 to 2015, followed by a more pronounced increase from 2015 to 2019, average an increase of 2% per year. Yes, a 2% increase in the incidence of breast cancer in women aged 40 to 49. As we already discussed, diet and exercise, <clears throat> when prescribed in a personalized and dose-response manner, following biomarkers and not fat diets, play a pivotal role in both primary and secondary prevention of breast cancer, particularly when coupled with screening. And today... Again, you know, we're going to discuss the new guidelines, the new recommendation. Yes, the new recommendation from the U.S. Preventative Service Task Force suggests that biannual screening mammography for women aged 40 to 74 offers a moderate net benefit. Yeah, so basically not doing the screening, the mammography every year, but every two years, according to the new recommendation. However, evidence remains insufficient to determine the benefits and harms of screening mammography for women aged 75 years plus. Even if breast cancer incidence, we know it does increase with age and peaks among persons aged 70 to 74. However, rates in persons 75 years older remain high. So it's 453.3 uh, cases per, per 100,000 women, uh, a, in, in women aged 75 to 79, and 409 cases per 100,000 100,000 women aged 80 to 84. So it's, even if after 75 is still high, uh, 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 and, and, and mortality we know for breast cancer increases with increasing age. However, no randomized clinical trials of breast cancer screening included women 75 years or older, and that's why basically the recommendation of screening after 75 years of age is uncertain. We need data. Finally, the recommendations uh, concludes that the evidence uh, is insufficient to determine the balance of benefits and harms of supplemental screening for breast cancer with uh, uh, breast uh, ultrasound or MRI uh, 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 in women with dense um, uh, breasts, uh, regardless, of, again, breast density. These updated guidelines mark a significant departure from the 2016 recommendation, uh, which 
back then they advocated for uh, uh, um, annual uh, 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 annual screening mammography for women aged 50 to 74 and individualized screening decision for women aged 40 to 49 years based on risk factors preference and values so now it's not anymore 50 to 74 but as i said 40 to 74 so if you are older than 40 you should start to screen every two years with mammography overall evidence suggests that biennial screening yields a more favorable benefit to harm ratio compared to annual screening Data from the Breast Cancer Surveillance Consortium indicate no significant difference in detecting advanced stage cancer or less favorable prognosis cancer between annual and biannual screening intervals across all age groups. Moreover, modeling data indicate that biannual screening leads to a more favorable balance of benefits compared to harms. Potential harms of screening mammography include false positive results, psychological distress linked to these false positive results, additional testing, overdiagnosis, overtreatment, and radiation exposure. It is important to note that these recommendations exclude individuals with high risk genetic markers. Uh, uh, of breast cancer like BRCA1 and, 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 and BRCA2 genetic variations, history of high dose radiation therapy to chest at a young age, previous breast cancer or high risk breast lesions on previous biopsies. For these conditions, you have different type of, of, of recommendations. Okay, so uh, it it is everything for today i hope that you know this information could be helpful uh, uh, again this recommendation have just been published in jama and to summarize the key message is you should start uh, uh, screening uh, with mammography from age 40 uh, 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 until at least age 74 and you should talk with your doctor uh, uh, if you have any concern if you have any problem uh, as we discussed really on high genetic risks or other uh, conditions that may increase the risk of breast cancer thank you for listening as always uh, this is longevity now longevity now fl uh, the youtube channel dedicated to the science and philosophy of health and longevity i'm luigi fontana the uh, professor and the scientific director of the charles perkins center rpa clinic health and health for life program of the university of sydney and a clinical academic in the department of endocrinology of the royal prince alfred hospital in sydney